and finish up. So a couple of final things to do here is to make a record of the version of LFS this is, which can be useful if you take a copy of this image to reuse later. Um, it can be beneficial just to cat that file to know what version of Linux from Scratch it is, and indeed that it is actually Linux from Scratch and not another um, Linux distribution. This file here makes that point even more obvious because you specify the name of the distribution and who built it. So I'm going to edit both of these and just put my name in. So just put in there where it says your name here. Obviously you can put anything in there that's meaningful. And likewise with the other one, which is OS release. So that would be the name of the distribution, I would assume. If you are using this as a base for another system, get counted if you want to get registered as an LFS user and finally rebooting the system so there it's saying you can review the configuration files at this point um, and install any firmware if that's needed that will take you to BLFS um, and other things you might want to do are to install maybe um, OpenSSH so you can access the system remotely straight away which would be useful for carrying on with building BLFS so let's log out from this and unmount all the file systems, all the virtual file systems. And hopefully I've remembered everything that needs to be done. So we've got one systems busy there. Not sure why that is. Let's try that again. No, it's not having it. So it means I won't be able to unmount dev. And sys is busy as well. So that could be because I'm still in the directory here. Let's come out of it there. And let's retry that mount point one. No, it's still active. Oh, I'm on it here, aren't I? Uh, no, I'm not, but I'll move anyway from there. Yeah, I don't know why that's not. It does happen sometimes. There's obviously some, maybe a test or something that's holding it up. Uh, so we can't unmount the LFS system, unfortunately. All we can do is reboot the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut down this system. And... Uh, no, I'll be able to reboot, won't I? I just thought I might be on a different system to show the live screen, but I am actually on the live screen. I'm not remote. So, reboot. The Linux, uh, the Gen 2 system should unmount any, everything cleanly anyway, as best as it can. So, that shouldn't be a problem. So, it should come back up again in a moment. There it is. And with any luck, yes, there's a group, a uh, grub file system. The keyboard's working, so that's a good start. I'll press enter. Okay, yeah, I thought that might happen. I think I've probably got the partition number wrong. I usually get this wrong. Um, so what I need to do is go to a command line and do set. Um, oh, what are the commands now set root equals open bracket hd zero 
Oh, now is it because, oh, that's a point. I've still got the flash drive installed, so I'll remove that. Hopefully we won't need that again. And I'll do control alt delete, see if that was interfering with the um, ordering of the partitions. Because I didn't use the UUIDs like I can normally do, it might have affected how um, the partitions are seen. So I'll let this time out this time. Yes, it's working this time, so that's what was holding it. So there's our pretty penguins that we added in and we've booted and that looks like a successful boot. There didn't seem to be any errors there. Um, there's a problem with the sound driver, but then I didn't bother setting that up. So you can see it says cannot probe codex. So that's something else I'd need to do if I wanted to get the sound working. Um, but other than that, everything looks fine. There's no errors. You can see everything says okay here. It's configured the network, so what I'm going to do is to log in with the root and the password I set. I've logged in OK. Do df-h, I can see the partitions that are mounted. So the, root, the main root partitions are mounted and the F5Rs are also mounted. So I might want to possibly set that to no auto. Um, but if I do EFI boot manager you'll see that um, the LFS system is defaulted to the zero, um, the first one. And then we've got other options with all the removal devices, network devices that have been found that could possibly be booted from, if so wished. Let's ping the gateway. We've got response there. I'm going to ping, uh, for example, let's do um, the kernel.org, make sure the name resolution works. That seems to be working as well, so that's fine. Um, let's check our sources directory. Yep, all our files are there. So if I go into the Linux directory, make menu config, and I could, if I wanted to, carry on refining the kernel. Uh, for example, by adding in the sound card installation by going down here and selecting the appropriate parameters here. Uh, yeah, there's no drivers there set at all, so that's probably why it's not working. So that's all okay. Um, let's check the LFS release file. It tells us it's LFS 12.2. Let's check the LSB release file. That's all OK. And the OS release as well. And as you can see, that's responded correctly. We can check the um, PROC CPU info. And you can see that's just scroll past with all 16 uh, logical cores, so that proves that the kernel's aware of multiple cores and that it's configured to, um, uh, it's aware of them, it can um, process stuff on each one of those cores, so that's good. Um, I suppose there's not much else we can look at really. Um, I guess that's it really, that's the uh, root file system. And that's it, so if we wanted to carry on beyond the little scratch, we could do that directly here, it would be hard to do, but it is possible. Um, as I said, it would have been useful to install OpenSSH while we were still in the truth, so that we'd have remote access into the machine and we could use a GUI to access the machine and start building up BLFS. So thank you for watching the videos. I hope you found them interesting. I appreciate a thumbs up on any of the videos you've watched and subscribe to my channel to get to hear about more stuff that I do like this. Thanks very much. Goodbye.